And there's just so much crap when you're riding a bike. Gloves, helmet, coat, pants, bags. Such a pain. Good morning, friends. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. As the time of this recording, it's Friday. So I hope you had a wonderful Friday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. By the time you're watching this, it's the following week. And first of all, I'd like to apologize for the clickbaity uh, title of the video. I don't like doing that too much, but I felt it kind of appropriate in this situation because this is in fact my last motorcycle vlog to my current job. I actually uh, have mixed feelings about today. Today is my last day at my current position. I found a new job. And I don't want to get stuck behind these people. And I get stuck behind a red light anyway. Go figure. All right, so, like I said, today's my last day at my current job. I found something else. Uh, and on paper, it seems like it's gonna be a lot better, a lot better uh, position for me. I'm really excited to start something new. Um, I, I have mixed feelings. It's a bittersweet, you know, situation, I guess, because as much as you've heard me bitch and moan about my current job, my current position, I will miss all the people that I work with. I guess that's the hardest part about leaving is that, you know, I'll miss all the drivers. I'll miss our operations manager and dispatchers and team leads, but I definitely won't miss the, the <laughs> all the crap that goes on behind closed doors, I guess. You know, it, it's, that's what I'm really not gonna miss, but yeah, so this new job that I found, it's actually, uh, I'll be working for a company based in Michigan uh, when the pandemic hit, this company went remote and they just never went back. And they have clients all over the United States. And one of those clients is here in Phoenix. And that's the client that I'm gonna be working with. Um, and the best part is that it's a remote position. So my 60 mile commute every day, round trip, just got reduced down to about 60 feet round trip from my bedroom to my office. That is gonna be so nice. No more getting up, check, checking traffic, checking weather. I'm gonna get up, get my coffee, have some breakfast and walk 30 feet to my office and start my day. But it's gonna be outstanding. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve because I've never had a full-time position remote. I have worked from home before, you know, a, a few days here and there, I guess, with a couple of my past jobs, my current one including, included. Uh, but I've never had one full-time, so routines are going to have to change, obviously. Uh, and I'll, I'll get into it. I don't have any worries about it, uh, but I'm definitely gonna have to make sure I get outside once in a while. And, but I'm an outside kind of person, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Yeah, so what I'm gonna be doing is basically the same thing I'm doing now, uh, HR related. Uh, the <laughs> Another great benefit is I don't have to do any recruiting and I don't have to do any interviews. 
I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, so what I will be doing is onboarding uh, people for the company in Phoenix. So they have a, uh, you know, the, the company I work, will be working for is a staffing agency. And so they'll find the, you know, the clients and uh, the contractors is what they call them, the people looking for a job. So my job is to onboard the contractors with the client, with the company. So it's really all I do right now anyway, as well. You know, do their I-9, E-Verify, all that stuff. Um, get them put in the system, that sort of thing. So I'm really super excited about it. <clears throat> like I said, today's the last day I'll be doing a motor vlog on my way to work. There will be other motor vlogs in the future. It just won't be me on my way to work. And that is amazing. It really hasn't sunk in yet. Uh, I think it will Monday morning at 8.30 when I don't have to leave the house and I just start work. So more about that uh, in the coming videos. <clears throat> Maybe once I get established uh, in the new job and new position, feel comfortable with what I'm doing and all that. I'll do a, maybe like a day in the life of a, I don't know, contractor relations specialist position, you know, what I do during the day. I know I enjoy watching some of those from people, especially those that work from home. Like what, what's their routine? What do they do? So I'm uh, pretty excited about this. It's uh, got so many emotions going right now. Um, you know, it really makes me feel good when coworkers and drivers come up to me and say that I'm gonna be missed, you know, and they wish I wasn't gone, but obviously they understand the situation, understand why, but it, it makes me feel like I did my job, you know, when Others come up and say, hey, man, you're going to be missed. I wish you weren't leaving. I mean, it makes me feel really good. Um, and I'll stay in contact with quite a few of them still. You know, this isn't a goodbye. It's not, I'm not moving out of the country just yet. <laughs> but, you know, it's, I don't know, it, it's kind of tough. But it's that time, you know. Um, I'm a firm believer of, positive thinking, positive energy. And, you know, the universe doesn't let anything happen before it's meant to happen. And now's that time. Now, this is the time it was supposed to happen. So, And of course, the uh, last day of work, I'm going to be late. <laughs> I mean, not late, late, like I'm missing work, but later than I normally get to work. I'm usually there already. <clears throat> but I wanted to take the bike out one more time, do this little vlog, and it takes me an extra bit of time to get ready. Anytime I take the bike, obviously, I can't just grab my stuff and go. I got to get all my gear on, do all the things, get the bike warmed up, all that. But so anyway, back to uh, the positive thinking and all of that, you know, it's the time has come and this is the right time. The universe told me that today or now is the time to make that change. And I was presented with an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. And I took that opportunity. And I think that's all we gotta do in life is, you know, you keep moving forward, keep doing what you gotta do, but just know that the universe 
happens at its own pace. And, you know, it's not going to uh, happen before the time is right. Do I split traffic or do I not split traffic? Nah. I'm in not that I'm not in that big a hurry. I don't need to split traffic today. I'm sure these cars appreciate it too. A lot of people don't like bikes at all and they really don't like it when they cut in front of you. <laughs> Although that guy's going kind of slow, so maybe. Oh well. I'll catch up to him again. Oh, I'm not going to miss this commute, I tell you that much. This is ridiculous, and it's getting worse. There's just more and more cars on the road. Especially going home, it takes me. 45 minutes to get home and uh, that's 45 minutes one way hour and a half both ways depending that's an hour and a half out of my life that I can't get back just by driving I've never had a job where I had a commute less than I'd say 20 minutes one way and that was in Wyoming everything else has been 30 minutes or more one way and now I get to walk 30 feet oh, I can't wait my wife has always had a job, well, minus one in Pennsylvania where it was 30 miles one way. She's always been within about 10 or 15 minutes from work, from where we live. And now I got her beat. <laughs> uh, so I'll be home when she gets home. I'll be able to get off work and just walk out of the office, have dinner not have to fight traffic you know because that's half the battle right there i think if your commute is kind of a pain in the morning you kind of already ruined your day you know you start off with this nasty commute to work you get in a bad mood somebody cuts you off whatever you know you're fighting traffic and you're you're already lost for the day and then on the way home you know you're you're tired from working all day. Yeah. Last thing you want to do is uh, drive an hour in traffic to get home just to be able to relax. And that's an hour gone from being off work. You know what I mean? 
I honestly think that, granted, I mean, it would be hard to regulate, hard to whatever, but this commute for me, I think I should be getting paid for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I'm. this is for work. I may not be actively working right now, but I am required to do this to get to work. You know, I, like I said, you couldn't regulate it because unless you had, like if you lived outside a certain radius, you got a per mileage maybe, I don't know, something. Something to just compensate for driving so far you know and i don't know but for people who commute like this all the time and then there's people that work five minutes you know from or live five minutes from work and they don't necessarily need mileage I don't know. I'm just excited to not have to get up and worry about if it's school time and there's school zones and get stuck behind a bus. Here in the summertime though, it'll start lightning, lightning. It'll start, is that the right word? Traffic will lighten up in the summer because uh, all the snowbirds leave and go back north. So there is fewer cars. There is fewer cars. There are fewer cars on the road uh, in the summertime just for that. And you can tell a difference. It's like night and day almost. There's one day you'll be riding or driving and cars are everywhere. And then it's like the next day, it's like, where'd everybody go? Yeah, they moved back to Wisconsin and Michigan and all the northern states for the summer because I can't handle the heat. But then in the wintertime, everybody moves back down here and traffic becomes stupid again. So, I mean, I wish I had the money. I'd be a snowbird because I can't handle the heat either. Oh, well. I'll definitely have to make it a point to get out and ride the bike more, though. Although in the summertime, it's kind of kind of brutal sitting with a 300 degree engine between my legs. The fan kicks on, blows all that hot air right up my legs. Right now is about the perfect weather for riding. I mean, I got my winter gloves on just because in the morning it's a bit chilly. In the afternoon you know, 70 something degrees, it's perfect. It's perfect weather for a ride. I'm glad it, the weather cooperated. Wednesday, we had a massive storm roll through and I was hoping it'd be gone and nice and sunny and dry again so I could give you guys one last moto vlog on my way to work. And I'm almost there now, so I will be ending this video now. So again, this is my last day at my current job. Bittersweet, but it's time for that change and I'm excited to take that next chapter in my life and my professional career. I wanna appreciate, or I appreciate everything that they've shown me and taught me and everything that I've done. But, you know, like I said, it's, it's time to, uh, time for that change. And I want to thank you all for sticking with me through this. Listen to me bitch and moan about my job. And, you know, but I kept that positive attitude. I knew something would happen when it was supposed to happen. And sure enough, it did. So here we are. Thank you all very much for sticking with me through this journey. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So with that being said, Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh, God.
And there's just so much crap when you're riding a bike. Gloves, helmet, coat, pants, bags. Such a pain. Oh well. Thank you guys. We'll see ya.